Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is In the 18th century a young boy suffered from skin condition that included thickening of the skin and formation of loose spines that were periodically slaughtered off. This porcupine man married and had six sons, all of whom had the same condition. He also had several daughters, all of whom were unaffected. What might you uh, theorize about the location of the abnormal gene? So, if you don't know how to solve this problem, this karyotype would help you to understand the fundamental difference between uh, female and male. As you see, all our chromosomes goes in pairs, so we have 23 pairs, so 22 and 23. And as you see, chromosome pair 23 are uh, separated from the rest because all the rest uh, chromosomes are homologous. And a 23rd pair is not homologous, as you see, very different. These two chromosomes has some homologous uh, short sequences that allowed them to line up during meiosis or mitosis, but uh, these two chromosomes are very different and uh, those genes that we can find on the Y chromosome cannot be found on the X chromosome and vice versa. So just by looking at this karyotype we can say for sure that this is karyotype of the male. So male has one X and one Y chromosome and female has two X chromosomes. So let's now take a look at the inheritance of these two chromosomes. So male genotype would be X and Y chromosome and a female genotype would be uh, X, X. I, I'm using different colors just uh, for you to see where chromosomes come from. So here is a Punnett square and we can predict uh, genotypes and uh, of course phenotypes of the progeny. So one of the chromosomes come from the mother side, another from the father side. So this is going to be female, two X chromosomes mm -hmm. and two X chromosomes here and all male progeny gets the single X chromosome from the mother side and the Y chromosome only from the father side and X chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side. So as you see uh, all the males get the Y chromosome only from the father side. So if father would be affected so would uh, have defective uh, Y chromosome with defective gene on it, uh, every male in this family also would get this defective uh, chromosome and uh, defective genes that produce defective proteins that doesn't perform uh, its function in the organism and uh, this result in um, phenotypically visible uh, genetic disorder. And whenever we see a pedigree like this where we see affected male and if family have uh, say children of two genders male always would be affected in such family and if he uh, would get married and also would have children of the different sex we would see that males always would be affected and uh, on the female side if she would get married we wouldn't see uh, such genetic disorder in the following generation no matter uh, what the sex only this genetic disorder can be inherited from father to son and from in this case once again from father to son and we do not see uh, skipping of generation 
when trade disappear and then reappear again that might happen if this would be uh, autosomal recessive genetic disorder but in y-linked uh, genetic disorder we would see the pattern like this one and such genetic disorders are very rare because uh, there is not so many genes on the y chromosome as you see y chromosome is one of the smallest uh, chromosomes in human karyotype if the inheritance pattern would look like this so if this person wouldn't be affected for example then we can say that this is not y chromosome linked genetic disorder and we have to look for another explanation but in our case uh, this genetic disorder is y linked genetic disorder and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye